What's up YouTube? So I decided I wanted to make a trick tip video this time and I decided I want to do half caps because I feel like it's a fairly easy trick to learn and it's relatively accessible wherever you're at in your skating career. So I love doing half caps. I think it's super fun. It's one of the easiest tricks to learn in my opinion, but there are some crucial unlocks that I discovered while figuring out this trick that I think could help you land it a lot better and also get it more consistent. So I'm just going to touch on what those three tips are, show you some videos of me doing half caps, kind of teach you how to set up for the trick, what you would do if you wanted to learn this trick and then y'all can take it from there. So the only real prerequisites to this trick are basically the ollie, maybe the fakie ollie. I feel like the fakie ollie will help you because it teaches you how to stay back on the board and if you fakie ollie you know what I'm talking about but basically like when you do a fakie ollie you have to be leaning almost in the opposite direction that you're popping and that's what helps you stay over the board when you're doing the trick and helps it from not jutting out behind you or slipping out behind you and it's the same exact thing when you do this trick you have to have that board a little bit almost in front of you or leaning back on the board so when you go to do the trick it does stay under you so just to clarify when i say leaning back i mean like if i'm going this way right now my body weight needs to be this way i need to be leaning back and counter almost countering that by weaning as opposed to being straight this i want to be a little bit leaning back like this and that's just going to help me when i go to pop to stay over the board because the board's going to naturally want to go this way when i snap it so it's almost like when you're snapping um, it almost looks like, it almost feels like you're pushing it forward when you snap it a little bit. Like you're giving like a little like stay out in front of me kind of deal. So foot position is going to be really similar to the ollie. Um, the only thing I want to note is that I was really confused when I first started skating. If you, when you do fakie tricks, you do them off the tail or the nose. And I'm going to tell you all the rule of thumb is you want to do fakie tricks off the tail. And the reason for that is like if you're doing it in a line, think about it, right? If you're skating, um, you're going this way. This is my nose. When I do like a front side 180, I'm going to be landing with the tail going this way, right? So now I'm riding fakie and I'm going to be popping that trick off my tail. So my recommendation is to do fakie tricks, learn them off the tail. If you want to learn them off the nose, by all means, go for it. But that's just how I was taught and how I feel like is the best way. Um, I think for me, I like to kind of be hanging on like this side of the board a little bit. So I don't like to be like completely over like this. I almost like to be a little bit further back, kind of hanging back on the back side of my board. And the reason for that is when the board starts to turn, if you, if you do end up missing the trick, usually your feet end up going this way. So like when you're landing, your toes are kind of hanging off. So this kind of helps you get set up in a way to when you are turning, this foot, your ollie foot can drag into the nose and it won't come like way off here. So like if you set it up here and you're dragging into the nose, you're probably gonna end up like over here. But if you're over here and you snap while you're rotating, you can usually end up right in the middle of the nose. So I could put it almost like my kickflip position actually. It's really funny. And then my other foot is just in the ollie position. But once again, I like to put it just a little bit. So my ollie position is like right here. I like to put it just a smidge further back and it just helps me stay on this side of the board. And when you rotate in this trick, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about later. But when you land and you rotate, you really want your weight to be centered. But if anything, a little bit more on this side of the board than on your toe side. And if, if you do toe side, you're probably gonna miss the trick and it's gonna look really ugly. So like I said, this trick isn't super complicated. The first step is you need to snap your shoulders or turn your shoulders before you pop the ollie. So once again, shoulders rotate, they have to turn before the ollie. If you're not rotating your shoulders enough, you're not gonna get the full rotation and you're gonna end up going kind of like off to the side when you finish your rotation or it's not going to be um, or you're just not going to land the trick period so know that you do have to wind your shoulders you do have to give a nice solid shoulder i call it almost like a shoulder snap that's what it feels like to me it's almost like i'm snapping my shoulders around and then after the shoulders do that quick little turn that's when the um, the tail of the board hits the ground and you start to do the trick so the last tip for this trick, and this is a really, really important one. It's what's gonna help you um, stay over the board, get a nice popped ollie and really feel like it's an ollie. And that is when you pop. So once again, shoulders turn, then you pop. You need to be popping in the direction opposite that you're trying to turn. So what that means is like, if I'm trying to, to turn my body to the left or trying to open up this way, I'm gonna be ollieing in the opposite direction of that.
I'm really jumping out to the side and it really looks like I'm jumping out to the side and that's exactly what it feels like. And that is the key to making sure that your front foot really digs into the nose of the board, that you can get that nice high popped ollie um, and then complete the rotation. So once again, when you ollie and you pop, you really have to be kind of what it feels like and what I tell myself is to ollie out to the side. It's like literally just turn your shoulders, ollie to the side and everything else will kind of happen naturally. So next I'm just gonna show like a little progression of what you could work towards. So the first thing I'm doing is just to pivot and that looks like this. So you're essentially replicating the movement with your shoulders and with your arms that you're gonna be doing during the half cab, except you're, uh, you're not popping and that's the only difference. So once you kind of get what that feels like, know that it is simple, it's, it's almost the same thing, but when you pop, you do have to kind of jump out to the side a little bit more than you normally would. So that's like pretty much what, what the trick is. And you can even see when I'm pivoting, my shoulders turn a little bit too to make that happen. So it's very similar to the actual half cab. Then the last thing you wanna do is really just start throwing a little bit of the pop in there. So once again, the timing of this trick, the two things that are the most important, the timing and staying over the board. If your timing is wrong and you're snapping too late, the board's gonna go behind you. If you don't jump out to the side enough, the board is also gonna go behind you or out to the side and, or you're not gonna get any pop on it. Or when you land, you're gonna be super hunched over and not roll away straight. Those are all things that could totally happen. Other than that though, there's not too much that can go wrong. You really just need to get the full rotation. So remember, shoulders first, then snap, but it happens like real quick. It's like shoulder snap. It's not like I turn my shoulders, wait, and then I snap. It's like, nope, shoulder snap. Number two, stay back on the board. I don't wanna say lean all the way back, but just make sure you have some weight on what normally would be your front foot. But remember, it's your back foot because you're running, uh, you're going fakey. And then the last thing is really just to ollie out to the side. Just remember, you gotta ollie to the opposite side that you're turning. And the more you do that, I feel like the higher it's gonna be, the easier it's gonna be to level out and you'll really feel what it's like um, to, to have that rotation and to have like a nice crispy ollie. I think once again, the ollie out to the side is to me what makes it feel like a normal ollie and not like some weird kind of rocketed ollie turn, which is what it could feel like if you're not doing that. So those are the three tips. Um, I did throw a bunch of, of half cabs in the end of this video so you could just see a couple variations of what it looks like even when I do it. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did like it, you learned something, you unlocked the half cab, I would love to know your tips and tricks as well so we can all learn from each other. I'll leave it at that. If you all did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. would love to hear your thoughts as usual. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you all next time.